I said I would show you guys um, the puppies and I haven't gotten around to it because every time I try to something happens so here we go I'm going to try to sneak in so you can see them sleeping and then maybe them wake up so bear with me What you doing? Hello. Mm -hmm. So these guys are six weeks and a couple days. Today's Tuesday. They turned six weeks on Saturday. Um, they're Boston Terrier puppies. And if you watch any of my videos, these guys are Ruby Sue's puppies. Um, <clears throat> Ruby Sue has a video up of her at 12 weeks when she was a puppy. Because um, we have actually have her mother as well. Um, we've been breeding Boston Terriers for about eight years now. Um, and this is this generation of puppies. Um, they are all sold. Um, we, we sell them for about um, $7.50. Uh, and that's with papers. Um, so we're going to see. This is Susie Q, I believe is what they're going to call her. Um, I think this one here, he's a non-traditional marking or splash marking. His name, I believe, is going to be Willie. And this one right here, this little guy, I think that's him, yep, yeah, I think. Yep, yeah, that's him. Um, this little guy, his name is going to be Brady. So I like to know what the owners are going to name them, uh, because I will start calling them by their name, uh, just so that they, you know, get accustomed to that. So they're starting to wean off their mother. Um, they have water over there, but it looks like i got to clean it out again. Um, they get hard food. They're on four helps from Tractor Supply. Uh, we happen to like that brand. It's um, so far been really good with them. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um, and so let me pick this guy up so you can see some of his markings. So this is what I mean by non-traditional or splash. Um, they don't have the traditional tuxedo. Um, and where Ruby is red, you can't really see it here, but this is kind of a really light red spot. Um, but they all come out black because the father is black and white. And usually the, the father does, in our experience, has a little bit stronger of a um, good in it, um, outcome. So, give me a Brady. Give me a Brady. I don't know if you can see his brindle in him or not. It's starting to come out. They don't really start to show brindle until a couple weeks in. You do get a, occasionally um, a litter that will come out very heavy brindle, but in our experience, we haven't. There's Miss Pokey, Grandma, being all protective. And since I showed you the other two, let me pick up the girl. So when she was born, she actually had a white spot back here that matched her mom, Ruby. Um, but it's since gone away. So that happens too, is sometimes they're born with specific markings, and then it starts to go away. But she's actually going to... A breeder that we we do a lot of business with um, that we just actually got Gidget from. So Gidget is had her first heat. She we're waiting for her second heat to be bred. Possibly we're not 100% sure if we will breed her or not. But as promised, this is the puppy video. This is again that we think is going to be Ruby. That is ba uh, Brady and possibly Susie Q. Thanks for watching, guys.